Hello everyone. Hello everyone. My name is Jogasaki. Today I'll be taking the integral from one to four of root x plus six over x cubed plus e to the x. To start off, let's make let's take the integral of each separate term. Let's spread it out. So let's get the definite from four to one, right? And let's take the integral, right? So first let's start with root x. This is also can be written as x to the one half. And then when you take the derivative of x to the one half, you're basically adding one to the power and then multiplying by the reciprocal. So if you add one to the power, you get three halves. So what you're gonna get is two thirds, right? That's reciprocal of three halves. And then you're gonna add one to the power. So you're gonna get x to the three halves. Because you're adding one to a one half. The next term, we have six over x cubed. This is a little tricky. But we could also write this as 6x to the negative 3. And we're going to do the same thing as you've always been doing. We're going to add 1 to the term, so you get negative 2. So when you get negative 2, you're going to get x to the negative 2, right? And then you're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of negative 2 is negative 1 half. So you're going to get negative 3. Because negative 1 half times 6 is negative 3. So you can also write this as negative three x to the negative two, right? And then last term, e to the x. Now something special e to the x is if you take the derivative or integral of e to the x, you also get e to the x. So we can just write e to the x, and it's as simple as that. And we're done with this section of the problem. But remember, it is a definite integral, so now we have to actually solve the question. So now that we have our form, we can plug in 4 to this and plug in 1 and then subtract them from each other. To start off, let's plug in 4. So 4 to the 3 halves is the root square root of 4, which is 2, to the power of 3, which is 8. So you would get 16 over 3. And then you're adding something that's negative, so let's just subtract 3 over x and 3 times x and negative 2. So it's basically just dividing by x squared, so we're going to get 3 over 16. Next, we're adding e to the x, so we can just add e to the 4. But then we subtract by whatever we plug in from 1, so we're going to put parentheses over this, and we're going to plug in 1. So 1 to 3 halves is just 1, so we're going to get 2 thirds. And then we're going to subtract again, and we're going to get 3 over x to the negative half, which is just 3, so we get 3. And we add e to the x. Now e to the 1 is just e. So we can just add e. Right. And now we removed all of our dx and all those things. And now we just have a simple algebraic thing. But let's just simplify this a little bit. So 16 over 3 minus 2 over 3. Would, let's bring this all the way up here. 16 over 3 minus 2 over 3 would be 14 over 3. And then you would get 3 over 16. Right. So the next function minus 3 but we can, let's keep all these things let's simplify this at the end my bad 3 over 16 minus 3 plus e to the fourth plus e and let's just simplify all of the numbers since these are already as simplified as possible to get e to the fourth plus e and now let's get this all simplified together so let's bring everything under one and we just get a big function here so this is already simplified and that's done